In this video, we will begin looking at the slope of a line, and how we can find that slope from its graph. We use slope to measure the steepness of a line. It is often called the rate of change, or how fast this line or relationship is changing. The way we calculate this rate of change is how fast the graph rises compared to how graph fast the graph runs. You might think about rising as how far the graph goes up, and run as how far the graph goes over. We often use the letter M to represent the slope, rise over run. Let's take a look at some graphs and see if we can find the slope of the graph. To find the slope, we need to know some points on the graph. Let's use this point on the x-axis. Let's also use the point up near the top right, where the graph hits perfectly on the coordinate plane. Slope is rise over run. So we will want to calculate how far the graph rises or goes up, and then goes over to the point we have second. Counting, we see the graph rises 4 units, and runs over to the right 6 units. This means we rise 4 and run 6, giving us the fraction 4 sixth. We can reduce that fraction by dividing by 2 to get our final slope of the line 2 thirds. This means for every 2 spaces the graph climbs, it will also run a distance of 3. Let's try another line and see if we can calculate its slope. On this line, we will again identify two points we can use to calculate the slope. At the very top of the graph, it seems to hit the grid perfectly. Just past the y-axis, we see another point where we hit the grid perfectly. We will read the graph from left to right again to calculate the slope, which is rise over run. Notice in this case, for our rise, we actually must go down and then over to our second point. Because we've gone down, we're going to call that a negative 3, reflecting the motion downward. We then moved 4 units to the right. Our slope is rise over run, we rose negative 3, and we ran 4. Notice, when the graph went downhill from left to right, the slope, or rate of change, was negative. By counting the rise and the run, we can find how steep, or what is the slope, or rate of change, of our line.